form affinity. Where the dying takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another form affinity video. Today I'm very excited to share with you guys the brand new Maya Config Pro version 1.6. This version has been tested with uh, both Blender 290 and 291 beta uh, Blender builds, as well as the 290.1 full installation. Okay, so let's dive right in and see what it has to offer. Um, first, you'll see a new uh, Cam Tools 1.0 on the left-hand side panel. Um, so a few of the buttons that were in the main side panel have been moved down. I believe just uh, three of them to be uh, featured within that cam tools section. There's also uh, a line camera to view. So if I um, click on that, it'll automatically set my camera to that location, as you see. And then there's a uh, toggle the camera view. So this just toggles you in and out. And then the next button was actually a feature request requested by the mem one of our members in our Discord channel. So if I go into camera view and I click on this button, that is a camera view lock. So now when I toggle around, you'll you notice it's it's on because there's sort of this red dashed line going around the camera view. Um, so now when it's on and I rotate my view, uh, the camera stays locked. So this is a great tool for doing animatics and just various camera animations. What's also really nice about it is the button has been designed to show uh, blue when when this feature is turned on. So even if I'm not in uh, the camera view, I know it's still turned on because the button is blue. So if I go back in, you'll see it's on. And so I can just turn it off and it goes back to gray. So you always know when that, that feature is on because it will be highlighted in blue. Um, the other thing we have is a uh, toggle camera safe areas. Um, just note that you need to have your camera actually selected, otherwise you'll throw an error. So if I have my camera selected, turn that on, and then I get toggle safe area. Um, the other thing to note is we've got a camera lock and unlock. So this you can see over in our right side um, sort of a channel section there if we lock it's going to lock all of your transforms and if we unlock it just unlocks them so if i lock this and then go into camera lock you'll notice when i try to move around it doesn't allow me so just be just be aware there's there may be a conflict there if you try to do, use both of these tools at the same time so now if I unlock it, now I can move around. Okay. So lastly, we, um, in that section, we've got our quad view toggle, our ortho perspective toggle, and then a max screen toggle. One other quick thing to note about the cam tools is this button here has also been added to the quad view menu. So that is right here. And you'll notice if I go into active camera, by hitting spacebar, I'll open this menu up once more. And if I hit view lock, it automatically turns that button on and off. So that's just kind of nice to have that button there as well. So next we have a, a new modeling feature. If I open up the right uh, end panel, you'll see a modeling toolkit section has been added to the shelf. So this is um, not available in your top shelf. This is just special to that right side shelf. Um, 
And so it starts here with your subcomponent modes. So if I select an object, I can go into vertex or edge, um, face, etc. And then this little button just takes us back out to object mode. Next, we have our um, live symmetry add on, which is just the same as you have up here. So that's all on there. Um, and then we have uh, the addition of six buttons. These are sort of your modeling features. Uh, if I go into, well, let me use this actually. If I go into edit mode, select a face. This is just your extrude tool. Um, this is very similar. This is a, so this is extrude along normal. This is extrude along, along axis. Um, you'll see I have to click this button multiple times every time I want to do an extrude, whereas this one, I just click this little yellow dot each time I want to do an extrusion. Uh, and there's a very specific reason for that. So this is basically your standard extrude, whereas this one has a hotkey, um, a special hotkey set to it. So let's say I go into, let me get out of that tool. I'm going to delete that face, go to edge mode. Um, I'm going to, while holding down control, so I'm going to activate this, this button via the hockey. I'm going to hold down control and double click, double left mouse click, and you'll see the access extrude tool has been activated. It automatically makes an extrusion for me there. So I can just double click while holding control and do a bunch of extrusions this way and move it along whichever axis I want. So what's nice about it is it's very quick with, with edges and it allows you to move on specific axis. Um, whereas, go into here, this guy, you, bi you basically just have to go in the direction of the normal and then switch over to your, your move tool Um, and so what's nice about this one is you can do a lot of edge work and extru edge extrusions that way. So that's been added. And it's basically similar to uh, how Maya has that hold shift and move axis feature when you're doing extrusions. Okay, next we have just a, your basic bevel. So come in here, select an edge, just grab that guy and bevel and then we have a bridge tool so let me go in here and create a couple edge loops select face so let's say you've got a gap like this in your mesh that you need to bridge i can select two edges on either side that need to be connected and just run that tool and creates the bridge for you. We also have a knife tool, just your standard knife tool available there. And an inset tool. The buttons at the bottom here are um, just for uh, subdivide, unsubdivide, uh, loop cut, join, and separate. So if I go into face, I can subdivide with that guy. Unsubdivide, I can add a loop cut. 
various loop cuts if I like. And then the, the join and the separate are similar to what you have up here. Join and separate. The other cool uh, thing about the, the modeling tool kit is it's uh, context sensitive for a lot of these buttons. So you'll see that they are grayed out unless I have uh, a mesh selected. So really cool new feature. Um, I hope it gives you guys a, a more a visual way of working with your, your modeling tools. So this feature basically was modeled after Maya's modeling toolkit. So if you guys have any ideas, um, anything you'd like to see added to this toolkit or the cam tools for that matter, um, be sure to leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about uh, the new updates, the new features for Maya Config Pro version 1.6. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Take care.